Hola peeps. Hi guys, how are you doing today? We are out and about on this hot day in San Antonio because take two, get in the car seat. Actually take three. Something, take something. Yeah, okay, so I've got me some notes here. Take four. Take four. We were here last night looking. Oh yeah, we were here last night. So this and is the fourth. they we anyway, that's a long story short, but we didn't think that they would it said no return to no exchanges. Yeah. And, and so we went to another one, you can tell. Oh well, we came here last night and we were gonna exchange these car seats and there were signs on the return registers that said no return no refunds or no returns or exchanges. So that makes the idea here. So we ended up going to another Toys R Us and asked them at the at the service desk yeah. if they had that that uh, a particular car seat we were looking for, and we told them about the signs up here, and they said, "Well, that's that's not right." And as soon as we told, I guess the manager there that yeah. night, he got on the phone and called this location, and says, "Uh, uh, take your signs down." He said she was a diva. Apparently, that girl well, one was a. Uh, he said she's a. Like, says something. She was. I don't think he was diva, but no, he was but it was like high. But she's she does her own thing. Yeah, she's much, like so. high maintenance. Yeah, she, and, and he's everything has to be cleared through their district manager, and she, obviously she didn't Apparently do it. She didn't do that. So. So and he told us we could come here today because so. he he said that she took the signs down. <laughs> so That's we're back. So funny. Yeah. So we're back, and I did a little bit of research, and I really wanted that um, baby trend because I liked how big it was, and I liked the headdress because my thing is. I was really concerned about his head and the side impact because the all the booster seats, I haven't been real impressed with. There's nothing to protect the sides. Well, I guess technically there's nothing for us to protect our sides either. But a seat's kind of like cup around you though a little bit. Well, I don't know about the Jeep. They've got the side bolsters. But, They're made the Jeep. Yeah. And, and actually both vehicles have those because of course being a sports car. It's a little bit more so. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted something that can withstand the high temperatures of a place. Of, you know, like in San Antonio or wherever we are, and then pretty much anywhere in Texas in the summer is like super hot. But right now, it's March, and it's how hot is it? It's, it's like I can tell you real quick, 86 right now. It's of 86. course, we're facing into the sun, so so then that means it's even hotter. <laughs> and then um, also, you know, make sure the fabric doesn't make him sweat. I'm looking at my phone because I took notes. Um, we wanted a little bit of reclining for comfort, and the one that we're going to choose has six. A different recline feet you know you can Positions. go yeah there you go we wanted side impact protection and there's two car seats I'm looking at that has side impact protection that I'm really really you know excited about we're wanting it to have a latch and a tether which the latch goes down and anchors your seat and the tether is on the top part that holds it back so it doesn't if you slam on the brakes it doesn't go forward um, also I wanted a steel frame I wanted it to be multifunction where you can, he can grow, I don't have to buy another one, he can transition into that. And so, dun dun dun, we're going with a Graco. Ooh. We're going to go look at a Graco and um, I can go over all the stuff. The reason we're not going after the baby trend, because I was coming back to get that sucker, it's a convertible car seat, it lasts eight years, but... The reviews on it are horrendous. No. They are just terrible. It's got two stars and people absolutely hate that thing. And I don't want to keep it if it's going to if it's gonna be like that. Also, I, what was really important to me was the crash test and airline. Um, you'd be able to take the car seat on an airline if you're flying. Mm -hmm. And the Graco ones are, you can approved do that with, yeah, that. they're approved. They approved. And they have, I, I don't know because I didn't write it down on my phone right here, but the Graco has like all of these um, safety awards. That's cool. Well, they've been around for a long time too. 60 years. Sweet. And they're made, it, it started here in the United States. But the other one, if you're interested, that we were looking at was the Bright Tax Advocate, which is actually, I think, the seat that I thought he had the boulevard, but he had the advocate. And I would recommend anybody have that seat, especially a convertible seat for a little guy and stuff. But a good, a good it was chair. a great seat. I love that seat. And then the, the Peg Perigo Primo Vigiaggio. Okay, it's a mouthful. Yeah, Vigiaggio or Vigiaggio. We have to look at that one. Viaggio. Viaggio. See, I said it wrong. I always put the accent in the wrong spot. But yeah, those are the three that I was looking at, doing extensive research on last night. And so I'm gonna go in and actually look for these car seats and show you guys, just in case you want something different than a Graco. But I think you would really like a Graco. Well, let's do it. Let's do it.
right now we're looking at this Nautilus 65 XL. It's a three-in-one. It is a booster. It has one position or two position recline. And that's cruise in it right there. Yeah, it's XL. LX. Oh, I said XL, didn't I? LX. Okay, that shows where my, how my brain works. Do you like this one, Cruzy? Yeah. But see, it's real important to me to have something like this yeah. on the sides of his head and something to absorb if we're hit from the side. But this is not a convertible car seat. This is a booster seat. What's a convertible car seat? What's a convertible? It goes from a rear facing to a front facing. I think we found it. That looks nice. The Graco has these little pockets right here where you can put the seat belts right there. So when you put them in, it, um, they're out of the way so they're not sitting on them. He's sitting in the booster, which I like. Look at him. I think Ramon likes this one, the convertible. Yeah. I just want them to be safe. I really like this head protection. So I think he likes this one. Whoa! <laughs> Success. We went with a Graco convertible car seat. I'm not a real big fan of the booster seats. For some reason, I just don't really like them. I think the convertible car seats, they have more like, you know, the side for their side. Because I was thinking, and I was telling him in the seat, I'm sorry we did not get to film that much in there. It was crazy. And they were picked and, over too. Yeah, they were picked over and we were kind of getting in everybody's way and I don't want to do that. And so we're actually going to another Babies R Us. I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm trying to, we're actually going to another Babies R Us so we can see if they have those two car seats that I mentioned in case you guys want to look at them. Anyway, let me go back to what I was saying is I like the convertible car seats because of the reclining positions. They just seem more like a solid car seat. They have a little bit more padding in them and they have the sides that come up on their sides. So like my thing is if you have a side impact car crash, then your baby is more protected than as if they don't. Like I said, this is like the fourth time or something like that we've been messing with these car seats. That car seat's nice. And they have a new series that's called the Platinum, but we couldn't find those. So we didn't. Sold out. Yeah, they were sold out. I was going to get that. Those, that one like this but it was a platinum see there's this car seat we don't have like the cup holders and stuff in but I, I really like the seat but we can like uh, show you more I guess the installation maybe in my car the one we were gonna get and it's from their platinum line it's nice but it's like it's not much more than the one it's fifty dollars more than what we got you hear that oh just watch the jeep like what two hours ago maybe yeah it's pouring outside it's not that bad but it's enough to dirty your car You want to try that one? We're looking for a lightweight stroller for just on occasion. But he's so tall. Huh. No. Oh, I see. That one's not going to work. I think he likes that one. We've already tried this one, but he wanted to try it again. I like that one. It has like a piece of plastic for his feet. Here, 
Leave it. Oh, no, that's not going to work. I don't remember what that one was. Do you? You do not fit in that. You are too tall. Nah, yep. Let's see a let's see a side by side comparison. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at the water going across the river. He's got to speed up so he don't get wet. Mommy, <laughs> look at Jeep. Daddy, Jeep. Jeep, yeah. It's clean for a couple of hours. It's about to be dirty again. Cruz is getting in his new car seat. See, he just slides up in there. Yeah, we got to get the little... We have to adjust it. We we put it in quickly. There we go. Yeah, he's. Uh, we really got to adjust that because that latch is right up under his hiney. Oh, it is. Yeah. Awesome. Good job. This here. Mommy, look, it's rain. Yeah, rain. We could not find the car seats at the store that I was looking at, so I couldn't really show you. But I'll show you a picture, you know, like. Anyway, I'll maybe put it right here, the picture of what I found on Baby Jarvis. I'm pretty sure you can, I know Baby Jarvis is closing, but um, we talked to a manager last night and it was like, um, he said in 60 days. So um, it was really sad though, because he said they're, he's losing $10,000 worth of vacation, was it? $10,000 of vacation that he has rolled over and all his pension and everything. He's, for, he's worked for the company 20 years. I thought that was just really horrible. Yep. But anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that you could get the same car. Maybe they have them at Bye Bye Baby or if you maybe even Amazon. And oh, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link them in the description box below so you guys can like take a look at it and see if that might be something you're interested in if you're looking at him. He's been smiling ever right since we put him in this car seat. He just really likes it. But our car seat journey, I think, is done. Finally. <laughs> but I'm glad it's over too because I just did not like. I just couldn't find what I liked. I guess. You know, I wanted him to be comfy, and, and but then I wanted him to be safe. Safety, Safety was the main, main thing. thing. And the reason we're looking for an umbrella stroller is because, you know, if we go on a vacation or go somewhere, and it would be nice just to have the umbrella stroller instead of taking his big, nice stroller. Because if somebody steals the umbrella stroller, then, you know, you're not out $400. Right. <laughs> and it has been the best stroller ever. We get people stop us all the time asking what kind of stroller it is. Hi guys, it's the next day and we got the car seat uh, and I think we're going to get it out and then unbox it and then put it in my car real quick. That work. Let's do it. Yeah. It's heavy, huh? Yeah, kind of. It's not too bad. I peeked at it before. <laughs> So it's gonna be easier to open. Yeah. So I kind of cheated. I already took this stuff off, but I haven't, you know, gone through it and op opened it until now. So this is just the cup holders, instruction manuals, and I think this is for the uh, seat belt, the regular seat belt. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's, so it keeps it from from uh, uh, you know chafing your neck and stuff like that. So I think this is what it is. We get this. And we're not going to need the bright padding. Here we go. This seat is set up at the factory for the youngest child that can actually use this seat. So everything is set up for the rear facing position. So because Cruz is older, we want him in the front facing position, we're going to have to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, is to, we're going to use the latch system. So we need to move these latches from this position to this position. And the way we do that, first of all, is we 
unhook them from under here, ah, like that. And the same thing on the opposite side. Then what we do is uh, we have to pull this padding up to access the mechanism that holds that latch belt into place. So uh, what we do is oh, we're also going to move this latch from the far back position to the front position because he's older and right now he's sitting on it. We don't want him to do that. So it, the, the manual wants it as far up against the body as possible without sitting on it. So we'll have to move forward and we, we do that uh, by accessing this underneath the padding here. We'll accomplish both tasks at one time. First you want to unbutton the armrest on both sides. Then you want to just gently pull on the front here and this padding is secured by these little tabs that go into these holes here in the front. Want, there's four of them right here you want to do that and while we have this done we want to go ahead and pull this footrest out to access the latch underneath here. But first we're going to move the latch belt. You see right here it just, it's just starting across this uh, front uh, point right here. So you want to pull this one out here and just thread it around this uh, shoulder harness back here and route it back to this part in the back here. You can kind of feel where it comes out there. Then you want to take the belt, do the same thing with this buckle. Make sure not to twist the belt around and just feel your way to this other hole here. There we go. And just slide it along that rail. What rail? This is this metal rail right here. Cool. That's what keeps it in place. And it's as simple as that. Nice. Now what we need to do is we need to move this buckle to the front position right here. And the way you do that is you take your buckle here, or this whatever the heck it is, this metal piece, and you gotta kinda thread it through that hole. And it's barely big enough to get this huge kind of knot piece right uh, through it. It's going to take a little effort, so you just got to kind of play with it. Maybe get a little rough with it. Don't worry. It's durable, so it'll handle it. And you want to just kind of push it down into there. And you want to feel up under the seat here to kind of get it through. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. And you do the same thing, turning it to where it'll go through that slot. And there you go, pulled it out. And we just reverse the process by getting it down in there and do the same thing. That's pretty cool. It, it feels pretty cool. it feels a little bit more stable than that baby trend one. It is a little bit, yeah. And you just pull it up through there, and you got it there, and put it through the first hole here on your seat. And there you have it. Cool. Then and you also want to thread. This is your tensioner strap to tension the. Uh, the uh, shoulder straps down. You want to make sure you pull that through this hole here. Two, two, and four. Cool. And while I have these undone, I'm going to go ahead and put the cup holders on. Uh, this one, it says right or left on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. This one goes in the right. It's just easy. You put that little T slot into this T slot here. And push that tab down into the lock slot there and there you, there you have it. Same thing on this side. Two sides. What I failed to do was pull this in the utmost position. It's the first thing you're supposed to do and I didn't do it. It but still works. We got it done with that. Yeah. Thing. But I think it makes it easier. There we go. Uh, I really do love this car seat. I feel so happy with it. I think it's very nice. I really like the padding right here, where he's mad, his thumb is. It's, I do I not that. even know how to tell you how thick this is. And like, like it, it's all sewn in and everything, but gosh, it, it's just so thick. It's like that all the way back and all up in here. So there's a lot of padding. <laughs> Mind you, I have a Dodge Challenger, so <laughs> things get a little tricky sometimes. I gotta make sure this is all up all the way. There we go. Should move freely, fairly freely. So you find the little brackets for the latch system down there. The other 
one is right there. And here's the anchor. Just goes in like that, and then you just cinch your the top down so it's kind of snug up against the car. We got it set right now to where we think he's going to be sitting comfortably, a little reclined. That way, if he falls asleep, his head doesn't fall forward. And, yeah. you know, it just looks really uncomfortable on him. And, and they could choke and stuff, I yeah, think. Yeah, that too. So, we want to make sure we put the position in and just. Where does that seatbelt go once you pull it all tight? Just, just goes behind the seat? Yeah, it just tucks in back and back. You can, you can kind of tuck it away. It'll be out of the way because nothing's getting back. Nothing's going to get back there, so you can just kind of tuck it back there. See, it's kind of out of the way. Okay. And then I just need to come over here and cinch the uh, anchors down. There's one. I like to give it, it's just one loop. I'm going to give it a good tug on it. I'm going to have to get over here and kind of play with this. Ah, there we go. A little bit. I like it. I Looks really it. good. And I can still see out the back window, which is good. The other one was like way tall. Yeah. It seemed like. That baby trend. And since he's not in here, we're, we, I'm just have, I just have this adjusted kind of just to kind of pull it up because I know it's not going to be all the way down. Yeah. So. What? Cruzy. You want to try to new seat? Okay. Give me your seat. Oh boy. Yay. Oh, you know what we forgot to use? These little things that hold the seatbelt out of the way. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Look at you. Now, Do you that, like it? That fits yeah. better right there. See, it's out of his way, so you don't pinch his leg box, right? Yeah, we'll just give this a little okay. And there we go. And look how comfy he is laying back there, reclined. I know, and last night in your Jeep, we didn't have it completely fixed or anything, and he was just so comfortable in it. And now I've got it in there set up nice. All I have to do is get Make sure that the that he recline is in the right position. And he should be just fine. He wants to play football. <laughs> he plays football in the garage. Play football. I think if he falls asleep now, the way his body is positioned, he'll just like he won't go. His butt head won't go forward. You know. Just... I know. You'll be wishing you were in it. Yeah, no doubt. That's a nice seat, though. Nice chair. Very it, nice. And you know what? It didn't stick out as far as the other one did. You like it? Yes. I like it. I hope our car seat shopping experience was informative for you guys because we were thinking, you know, since we're not really sure what we wanted to get and I was doing so much research and we were having such a hard time getting a car seat that we actually liked for safety and for comfort and for comfort. I was trying to say a word I couldn't say. And for comfort that um, we thought it would kind of be cool to vlog about it and um, show you guys our experiences and stuff but we really really like this one. Oh, we've only had them probably for 24 hours and we really love them yeah and we hope that by doing this video we would help you uh, skip the step of going buying one taking it back and buying another one taking it back like we went through third, so third, Karen's third done time. the research for yeah. you <laughs> it took us three times this is three times <laughs> three times yeah three times but I guess we're gonna go ahead and end the video here <laughs> comment oh yes please comment if there is yes. any questions you have whatsoever please leave a comment I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have give us a thumbs up share us with your friends and what else bye <laughs> bye we'll bye. see you in our next vlog video bye